Hi, this is Alex Paulton, and I'm here at the uh, Apex Show in San Antonio with my good friend Tony Alita. He's um, with the United Chemicon, and well, we've been at the show a long time, haven't we, Tony? Oh, since probably uh, 1985. <laughs> well, you've been exhibiting here that long, at least. Yes, yeah, since I was a boy. <laughs> That's fun. Well, you're still young looking right now, I might you know, say. Yeah, oh, well, thanks. <laughs> but all things aside, the uh, beautiful thing about our industry right now is that there's a lot of um, movement in the circuit design industry between topologies and new materials, wide band gap semiconductors. It's also putting pressure and giving new opportunities into the passive space, right? Yes, it is. There's a lot of demand for high temperature, reduced case size to take care of the topology. The semiconductor guys are more into determining the lifetime of a component well beforehand by using SPICE models. So our business has changed a lot. That I can imagine so. So now give us an example of some of the devices that you've come up with to address these new demands from the wide band gap side. Well, we have a polymer product that mm -hmm. seems to be the hottest to use in voltage regulation modules, um, any, any high, high frequency filter application, which is going to be semiconductor related, low voltage. Then, then we also have high voltages up to 750 volts. So this capacitor right here is 500 volts at 10,000 microfarads, which is, this is, this is avant-garde for our business right now. Very nice. Now, um, what are some of the applications that would serve? Well, this would be, be typically used in DC drives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a, 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 a 10,500 volts. So any drive motor, is going to have a electrical system with an inverter on it, and this capacitor is big in there. So windmills, uh, you know, con uh, 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 conveyor lines, uh, large-scale industrial robotics, possibly large-scale industrial robotics. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. So, um, and beyond that, have you had any demands for on the support side? Are you seeing more demand for FAE support to help get these products into these newer designs? Well, we've always had a heavy engineering presence. We're, our sales force is also engineering oriented. So we've gone to the computer type programs such as SPICE modeling, um, um, different theories and equations put on the website so our customers can come on, plug in their numbers, get their answer is in, in, in real time quickness like they want. Excellent. Now, where can they go to get it? It's unitedchemicon.com? www.chemicon.com. Excellent. There's a dash between chemi and con. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, Tony. I really appreciate you taking the time at this busy show. Thank you, Alex, for coming by.